planets comprise the chipset of the galactic motherboard. The size and composition of the planet facilitates what type of chip it becomes. Some factors aside from size are distance from the nearest processor, how fast the planet spins, and what type of materials are used in the development of the planet. The development of a planet, or chip, comes from pieces of coating expelled by a star that has been making elements inside of it for a period, and then decompiled and scattered throughout the galaxy, sending pieces to other solar systems and recompiling them with others, forming planets necessary for that chip set. In the compilation process, specific shards of coating in the form of asteroids and other planets collide on a continuous basis until the chips arrive at a formation size sufficient enough to form its own gravitational pull. The amount of data in the surrounding space is assimilated into each chip that has reached critical operational size. The rest of the data is absorbed into the chip or dissipated and ultimately absorbed by the processor in that region. Then we begin to see the types of fields generated based on their configuration and ultimate purpose in the chip set. In some cases, each chip could be imported from outside the system. Several different types can be brought in to complete the set. The space is cleaned out and room is made with the correct rotational matrix. Spin speed, size, and distance can now create the algorithm it was designed for. All aspects of the planet, from internal core to outer topology and gravitational elements, create a specific algorithm that is then channeled to the nearest processor, the star in the system. With all elements intact, each solar system has a certain amount of planets at predetermined distances, spin cycles, and gravitational factors, creating a complete chipset with centralized processors. The Sunday Orbit. <laughs>